what's on your mind? Matreya asked from beside him. Not only was she wearing a cloth hat to conceal her imp horns, she even went so far as to wear a hood over that. It's nothing. I was just thinking that he's a formidable foe. Getting cold feet? Now's your chance to run. I'm scared, I admit it. But I can't run away. Belgrip chuckled and patted Matreya on the head. She pouted. Don't treat me like a child. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Matreya scoffed, but she seemed a bit nervous, and she kept a tight hold on Belgrip's cloak. It took around an hour to get to the capital from their teleportation gate. By then, the night had fully descended. The soft air that had filled the streets during the day had suddenly become bitingly cold. That was when Percival arrived, offering skewered meat and fried bread he had bought from the stalls. For you. Thanks. Looks cheap and tough. Ah, uh, quit complaining. Percival prodded at Matreya, but his face had scrunched up at the sight of the food. Belgrave surveyed his surroundings. The streets were boisterous enough that they could have mistaken it for a midday crowd. Not used to seeing this? Percival asked him. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected to see any place so lively at night. It hardly ever happened in Orphan. He recalled the drunkards who trudged around the bars at night, but the market stalls would be closed and deserted by sunset. Here, it looked like sleep was a foreign concept. Though I suppose the earth and was noisy at night, too. That was just during a big wave, Percival said. He took a bite of meat and grimaced. Too tough. You've been here before, right? A long time ago. Back then, this area was where the beggars gathered. It wasn't like this. This is thanks to the Crown Prince, right? Honestly, I'm having second thoughts about fighting him. Well, you have to understand. Villains are better than anyone at presenting a fair facade. That's precisely what makes them so hard to deal with. Exactly right. You can't just slice them up and be done with it. This is more than an adventurer can handle. That's why we need someone who isn't an adventurer. Percival chuckled, patting Belgrave on the back. Belgrave returned him a troubled laugh. Don't expect too much from me. Hey, I'm not passing it all off to you. You've got me and Kasim, and more than anything, Angeline. You're right. Belgrave thought of his reliable daughter with a warm smile. With a polished-off skewer dangling from his lips, Percival called over to Matreya. Hey. What? She answered looking up from her half-eaten bun with a startled face. What are you so antsy for? You'll just draw attention. Can you blame me? We're on Benjamin's turf now. We can't be too cautious. <laughs>